Hi, Sharon Dan here with another Two Minute Tips. This week it's part two of Halloween 2017. And first up is The Flapper from one of my favorite eras, the 1920s. This was a time when women were taking charge of themselves by bobbing their hair, uh, shortening their hemlines, throwing away their corsets, and embracing cigarettes. You'd often find them in the speakeasy. Ah, yes, the lowered and very thin brows, sweetheart lips, and heavy-duty eyeshadow. To lower the brows, I brought them down a fair bit and just thinned them right out. And for the eyeshadow, I covered over with gray and black my previous character, which was green. Now, what a lot of women did in those days, uh, instead of bobbing their hair, they turned it up. So I'm backcombing it and placing in a styling rat or hair padding to help give it a little bit of bulk because my hair is thin. And then I backcombed the hair all around uh, and in a soft sort of way and then rolled it up over top of the styling rat to give it the fullness uh, that it needed. And you can see here where it's just been rounded out, almost uh, looks like a victory roll. Then in the front, I created a wave with some hairspray and just smooshing and pushing the hair around till it get it the way I wanted. And then I'm attaching this little bandeau of sequins and a feather. Oh, I don't look happy there. I must have been very tired. But uh, the bandeau sits right into the wave. And here we have the finished product. And of course, the more subdued version of the flapper, she would be donning the cloche hat, which was very popular and still is today. Yes, from sequins and a feather to a cloche hat and a little wraparound fur collar that was also very popular in that day. Next, we have tribal, something very different. Difficult to do, especially with, um, you know, when you, when you dive into the ditch of the wrinkles, trying to make it even, it's not that easy. Anyway, this was just done with face paint and um, my regular uh, dual finish powder foundation. Tribal, yes. Not easy to do, as I explained, both with the wrinkles and the symmetry. I started off with um, evening out my skin tone and applying eyeliner and lashes to help with the failing um, gray hair. And then I added some liner uh, in the waterline. Then back to working with the uh, black face paint and having to use my left hand on the left side of my face. So it was quite the trick. And then topped it off with some black lips. And finally, a little bit of shimmer powder on the eyelids just to give it some oomph. And I topped it off with some little uh, beads that I got from the dollar store. Now to the hair, this was quite simple. Just a ponytail on the top of the noggin and the last pull through, I didn't pull it all the way through. Then just spread it like a fan and topped it off with the two chopsticks. And there we have it, tribal. And finally, we have the retired geisha. Done with simply eyeshadow, a little bit of face paint, and my regular foundation only lightened up with some white eyeshadow to go with it. Yes, retired geisha, a very definitive look, but fairly simple as far as planning is concerned. First of all, I lightened my face, adding white eyeshadow to my regular powder, and then used theatrical lashes uh, for around the eyes with a dark black eyeliner. Then I made guidelines for the red eyeshadow that I used, and it was eyeshadow, not face paint. And then I just kept blending and adding and blending and adding and blending and adding. Then I put the guidelines in for the eyebrows, strengthened the eyeliner, and the final thing was to create the lips that I did.
Now this hair required some major hair padding uh, to make it look more authentic Japanese. As you can see, I'm putting in a huge piece at the back here. And once I've placed all the hair padding in, then I backcomb my own hair up and over top. And the side pieces had their own um, hair padding, of course. And I backcombed the hair and combed it over and pulled it out uh, so that it had that rounded look to it. Then once that was done, I smooshed and lifted, smooshed and lifted, and added the red chopsticks to end up with this result. That's it. Thank you for watching the series. And as our retired geisha friend would say, agato. We'll see you next time.